Welcome back to the channel. Shooting from my living room. If you notice the stuff behind me, there's a workbench behind this couch. And I do my own repairs. We do a lot of our own repairs and stuff. Which is probably something else I'm going to be adding to the channel. Um, if anything breaks, I'll fix it on camera. Or have my wife do it. She's an electronic engineer. Um, you, speaking of wives, you may notice my counterpart is not with me today. She is uh, sleeping. She works nights. So... I'm going to do this video, which I was planning on doing this one solo anyway. There's not really any use or need for two people to review. The Nutra Slicer. It slices, it dices, it cuts. It has a turn signal. It doesn't, but anyway. Um, I think it's either Canadian or French because of it's in French. Oh, I'm sorry. It's distributed by a company out of New York, and it's made in China. But for some reason, half of it's in French. From all. <laughs> but anyway, um, I was really looking forward to doing this. This is my first product review, and I wanted to bring you guys something interesting. Well, it's definitely interesting, but that's about as far as it goes. This is the Nutra Slicer. I've used it twice, and in those two times I've used it, it's broken about 40 times. I wish that I had a camera on it. It's simple in design. It's a little suction cup on the base. Um, it's got a thing where you can unlock the hopper and take that out. Basically five components. Well, not including the three blades. Handle. Blade, hopper, base, and it has a suction cup built into it. So far, the only thing that has worked well was the suction cup. I took it out of the box, put it together, and I used it for about, I don't know, five minutes, and it worked beautifully. Then I went and got, you know, I was just slicing carrots. Um, but then I went and got something a little more serious. I grabbed a potato. Halfway through the potato, handle snaps off. Okay. So I realized that this little nipple, yes, that's a nipple, sticks out of the back not far enough. And I ended up grinding this down. And I had to grind this down to where it would even make a connection. I mean, because it would just fall right off. And, like I said, it worked well for about five minutes, and then it just broke. Um, clicks together, works beautifully, right? Yep. And I, yeah, I put a little effort into that. But, when you're slicing a potato like this, and it just snaps off in your friggin' hand, and you end up breaking a knuckle, like, you know, I had one that I was, that was just healing, where I was working on a car and busted a knuckle, and, uh, rebroke it. Thanks, Nutrislicer. Um, but yeah, I just, I can't stress how absolutely garbage this thing is. The blade dulled after about, I don't know, two uses. And it went from slicing potatoes to bludgeoning them to death. Um, really made some nice looking carrots. It looked like they were chewed on by a damn beaver. I mean, the edges are rough. It's it's not good. I mean, it's it's twenty bucks and you know, oh, six dollars shipping and handling. And this one was given to me as a gift, but because uh, I guess when you buy one, you get another one for free because the first one's gonna fucking break. Um, yeah, don't buy it. I can't stress this enough. Do not buy it. It's junk. <laughs> um, uh, I mean, I was trying to figure out how to repurpose things and 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 or, and or make it work. And for 20, I mean, yeah, you get what you pay for, but you shouldn't have to modify something that you just got or bought. And see, there we go. It's not even staying on there. Um, yeah, I wouldn't waste my time. I wouldn't waste my money. Nutrislicer, the people who manufacture it, which would be... Emerson, or Emson, I'm sorry. Your product sucks. I don't sugarcoat shit. Your product, it's one of the few things that both sucks 
and blows. I'm going to leave it at that. Thanks for watching, guys. You have a great day. Give us a like, a subscribe. If you enjoyed this, share it. Share it.